It's my life and my story. It's my fame and my glory. We working hard, we gon' level up like MJ in his 40s. Yeah, it's my life and my story. It's my fame and my glory. We working hard. Yeah, cause that's all I do. What's up, everybody? I go by the name of Double G. I'm a hip hop artist out of Baltimore, Maryland. We're up here at Song Builder Studios in Catonsville, Maryland. Big shout out to Steven Antonelli for letting us use the space and continuing to give us a home studio to record at. In the back of the cell, they can fame or bust, and it all went downhill at 18. 2020, I ended up releasing, I think, between five or six songs. Um, the very first song I dropped was Lately Remix. Uh, I dropped it on January 1st of 2020, and it has a very talented artist out of New Jersey, and it's C. Henry, man. We killed that song. Followed it up with a really dope track from my grandmother called In The End. Um, after that, I dropped Late Nights, My Story, Going Back, was in a few features. It did around 500,000 streams on Spotify this past year, man, which is pretty dope, uh, especially for a relatively small artist out of Baltimore. So, yeah, man, looking to build on that here in 2021 and just get the music popping. That's our main goal. In the end, came together pretty quickly. I um, lost my grandmother in April of 2019. It was a very hard time for me. She passed from stage seven Alzheimer's. I personally took care of her and my family, you know, we, we did a, a really good job taking care of her in, in her later stages of life. And I just had to come out and do a tribute track for her. She meant too much to me. And, and actually getting her vocals in the song was a real big thing for me and my family. So when we go back and listen to that song, we can always hear her and she'll always be there with us. And I feel like that's something that really means a lot to my family and a lot to the people that have listened to it and that know me personally with my grandmother. And that's the one consensus I get from that. And in the end, it just, it means a lot to me. And the fact that it's sitting around 100,000 streams right now on Spotify just says everybody else likes it too. So let's keep it rolling and very thankful for all those plays. Got 32 plugins, like a no name. Yeah, so I just had a new single that just dropped Rockstar on January 29th on all platforms. It's one of my first rock and rap songs, one of the first blends that we put together. It's actually the very first single off my upcoming album that I'll get into in a little bit. But um, yeah, man, it was uh, it was inspired by a crazy dream that I had, a dream that where I was the biggest rock star in the world. I got arrested for doing something stupid. I couldn't tell you what it was, but everybody starts doing what they do best. They start sharing it on Facebook, Facebook, sorry, and just saying, you know, double G arrested, blah, blah, blah. Um, I go to jail. I'm sitting in jail smoking weed with some five foot blonde hair, blue eyed aliens. All of a sudden, my label comes and breaks me out of jail with these women in bikinis. They have the blueprint of the jail tattooed on their back. They're coming in with ARs, breaking me out. It's an incredibly crazy dream. I had to sit there and write the entire dream down, and I made it into a song. Just dropped it on all platforms. Rockstar, super dope. I'm very pumped, and I really think it's going to hit a million streams within the first year of being out. So that's something that, that I'm, I'm, I'm excited about, and a goal of mine, and a goal of my team is to get that to one million. Get that plaque and let's get this Spotify game. Me and my engineer Terry, we've been working on an album for the past seven months. We've been up here at Song Builders recording it, putting a lot of work in, and I'm excited. It's gonna be dropping sometime in 2021. I don't have an exact release date yet, or even an exact release time frame but it's going to be dropping. Like I said, I want to drop a few singles off of it and then uh, get it popping, but it's a different album for me. I've incorporated a lot of different genres into it. It's more um, rap, rock, pop themed. So a lot of the songs I feel like are gonna to appeal to a lot of different people. And I feel like no matter who you are, no matter what type of music you like, there's a song off this album for everybody. And I'm just thrilled about it. Not to mention, the entire album was produced by one producer, my man Balloon Beats from Boston, Massachusetts. Shout out to him. I'm excited to get this out to the public, man. I really think everybody's gonna love it. Ten years later, how the fuck it's under my dash? New merch, yeah. So I just dropped some new merch, a new shirt called Straight Out of Coronacation. It's actually a name to the album that's gonna be dropping later this year. So you know with COVID going on in 2020, everybody was on some type of coronacation. You can find the Straight Outta Coronacation tee on my new online store, shop double G410.com. S-H-O-P-D-O-U-B-L-E-G410.com. Link's gonna also be in the description. Go cop some double G merch and support the kid because we're working hard and every dollar that, that we get from merch goes back into the music. We're real excited and real thankful for all the support so far from everybody, especially from those in Baltimore. Gotta say that. Yeah, so I did a few podcasts back in 2020. Um, one with the Roach Room, one with my buddy Terrence Johnson, his uh, podcast After Hockey, which I highly recommend that. If you haven't checked it out, 
Google After Hockey Terrence Johnson. Great podcast. So I did those two podcasts, and I have a few also in the works for this year with some local people, some local podcasts, local companies that are going to you know, help me to get my music out there a little more and shed some light on different, you know, social topics that are going on right now in the culture. And I'm really excited about that. You know, one of my main goals is always, you know, promo, 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 market, market, market. So if I can continue to do that and and help some help other creators out, that's something I'm definitely interested in doing. I'm excited for these podcasts that I have in the works. <laughs> yeah, so I was just published in my first magazine. Shout out to Innovate X, Emily Correa from Chicago, Illinois. I actually did a show with them back in 2019 up in Chicago and um, had the privilege of meeting everybody up there. I've met, you know, a really cool family up there and um, they become one and one in my own. Um, I'm really excited about being published in my first magazine. I was actually published in two different pages on the new Thick magazine, uh, T-H-I-C-K-K magazine. Go check it out. Innovate X from Chicago. They actually named me their artist to watch in 2021, which is a super dope honor. I'm super excited to be, you know, the artist to watch, and I feel like the the work we put in 2020 is, is gonna show and pay that off. So, artist to watch, baby. 2021. Yeah, so COVID has definitely put a damper on all the shows in Baltimore and especially, you know, in, in a lot of different areas in the in the States. Um, I did a show back in October with Wisdom Court Entertainment. We were the very first socially distanced show at the Baltimore Soundstage. It was in incredibly dope it was it was a great atmosphere um it was very weird for me not to tell everybody to get close to the stage because that's one thing that i really you know focus on doing but i made everybody sit down stay in your seats please don't move but um i feel like this year man we're gonna see a lot more digital and virtual shows um while the the mayor and the governor still have their restrictions on so that's something that i'm looking into as well throwing some virtual shows over facebook or some of these different websites that are available but man shows are shut down right now unfortunately at least live shows in person and um, as soon as they're back up though, I'm sure we're gonna get back at it and I'm just excited for when that happens. Wear your damn mask. So I've been working really hard to try to solidify my online presence through different websites, through different you know promotional companies and marketing companies. And one thing with me learning how to do virtual shows, I really feel like I'm going to succeed in it because I'm one. I'm, I'm the type of person that practice, practice, practice. If you know, my engineer can tell you when I come into the studio, I'm prepared every single time that we go into record or go into perform. I'm practice, 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 and I'm very thankful for my mentality, for my father instilling that in me to be able to be like that. I feel like, you know, these virtual shows are gonna be a wave of the future. It's something that all artists are gonna have to learn about. I feel like it's going to put us on the map more because let's be real, everybody has a phone, everybody's on social media. All they gotta do is hop on, connect to the show, bam, they're right in there. And I feel like that's gonna be the new wave of the future, at least for the next few years. Keep living out your dreams, it'll be fine, even in the darkest of Music videos, uh, yeah, got a, got a bunch of, um, of ideas in the works. And I have a few singles that I'm going to be dropping some music videos for. Like I said, they're going to be a little bit more different, a um, little bit more artistic than the last few videos I did. Uh, I'm just really excited to, you know, get this content out. And I spent all 2020 recording, doing everything I could to get this content out, set myself up for a strong 2021, 2022. And I have a lot of content in the works, a lot of content getting ready to drop. So definitely excited for that. And music videos, we can be hitting you hard with them. Can't wait. Money last week. And can you ask Jenny why we lost our snap Up next entertainment. So I actually recently just started my independent label, Up Next Entertainment. Definitely in the very early stages of it, but we're making it uh, we're making it happen, trying to grow it any way possible. My goal is to have a fully functional entertainment company come at least a year or two from now. So where one no matter what you need, no matter what type of work you're trying to get done in the arts, you can come to us and we'll be able to help you out. Um, my goal is to be able to sign artists later on, um, be able to release music through my label. Rockstar, actually, the single I just dropped is the second song that I've dropped through that label. The first being uh, My Story that I released in October of 2020. So, man, we're really excited about Up Next Entertainment. Again, shop GG410.com. You can pick up your Up Next Entertainment t-shirt. They're $30, but I'm going to drop a discount code in the description for everybody that watches this. Keep supporting, and uh, you see Up Next Entertainment. Shout out Double G, because we making things happen.
Hey, so I want to send a special shout out to Colta. You need any medical cannabis, go get that from them down on 215 Key Highway. They're a big uh, supporter of my music and I'm actually a brand ambassador for them. So shout out to Colta. Follow me on all the platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Clubhouse, Snapchat, at double G410. Again, it's going to be in the description. And um, yeah, man, listen to my music on all platforms, you know, Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, Google Play, YouTube Music, Amazon Music, anywhere you listen to, you search double G you're gonna find me so keep running and plays up man and i'm just so thankful for all the support that we've gotten so far and let's keep the momentum building let's have a strong 2021 and shout out to the fans man i love every single one of you i want to connect with you guys more hit me up send me some questions you know let's take some pictures man and thank you so much again thank you for tuning in all the way through this interview it's been a pleasure cds has been a pleasure and much love guys double g 410 give me a follow and everywhere i go i stay repping over lee i'm a star bud feel a savageness and i'll make music for the passion list or the averageness i'm the catalyst when they book me they say a natural bitch had a show down in canton uh pink dresses steady dancing uh track is spinning out towson uh pass me the mic we got a bouncing uh took it down to the horseshoe we keep it live yeah we forced to i'm making this hit into a terrapinantha waking up sweet dreams in a maryland mansion for the 410 we up next baltimore